Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard grilled out some ribeye steaks. So this is mine in the back and to it, I you added this um, Grill Shakers hamburger seasoning. And let me show you the spices that are in there. So here are the spices. And then Howard used Uncle Chris's gourmet steak seasoning on his, which is right here. And he also used onion powder and garlic powder. I love to have grilled corn with steak. I didn't have any, um, so I just used some canned corn. I used two cans of canned corn. I added salted butter, um, salt, and then a little bit of black pepper because Howard doesn't really care for it. And then I threw a potato in the air fryer that we are splitting. And so on it, I added some butter, sour cream, and salt, and I added pepper to mine as well as salt. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am trying out a new recipe, and this is the recipe. I decided since we ate so heavy yesterday with the steaks, I would do something light. So this is a recipe that I clipped out years ago from Rachel Ray's magazine. It is a chicken salsa soup. So in my pot here, as you can see, it's gotten a little bit too dark, but I've got some onions, garlic, and I'm adding in some chicken thighs. And these are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. One thing that I am doing a little bit differently from the recipe is I'm using just a little over a pound of chicken thighs instead of two pounds. So I've got that in there. And then the recipe calls for chicken broth. And I'm going to use some bouillon because I don't have chicken broth. So I've got four cups of water. And now I'm going to add in my chicken bouillon. So I have some powder and then I have some base, which looks like this. It's a base and this is the equivalent of about three and a half cups of chicken bouillon. And so I'm gonna let this come to a boil and then I'm going to add in some fresh salsa. So here it is, or pico de gallo, just depending on where you're from. Okay, so here is the soup. The one with the avocado, of course, is Howard's and the plain one is mine. You could add some tortilla strips or something like that if you'd like, uh, but it does have a really good flavor. And um, I am glad that I went with one pound of chicken instead of two pounds because that would have been way too much chicken. The other thing is, and I'll link the recipe in the description box, is that the directions are kind of odd because I didn't realize before I started cooking it that you are actually just supposed to boil the chicken for a few minutes and then take it off of the heat and just let it sit in the broth to cook. I didn't do that. I just cooked my chicken in the broth all the way through. So um, it is a good soup. It does have a good flavor. It's light and healthy. I think I would definitely make it again. Howard thinks it's pretty good, but the Pico does have cilantro and he's not a huge fan of cilantro, but it's pretty good. It has a good flavor. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am eating from my pantry. I made this um, pasta bake that I picked up from Aldi a while back ago. It's a four cheese pasta bake, let me flip it over. So all you do is add milk and cheese to it and it's okay. Howard doesn't like it, he said it has a weird flavor. So here are the cheeses that are in there. Uh, mozzarella, cheddar, gouda, and Romano cheese, and then you have to add your own uh, Parmesan on top after you, when you bake it. So here it is, it's just okay. I mean, it's nothing spectacular. I don't think it has a weird flavor, but I mean, you definitely probably do better just making it yourself. And then I am serving it with breadsticks. So these breadsticks are the ones that I always buy from Tom Thumb. Really like these. I think I actually like these more than just regular garlic bread. And then I'm serving it with side salad. So here is mine. I've already got my salad dressing on it. Um, I have been using these and I really like them. I found these at the Dollar Tree. I've never actually bought the bigger bottle because I wasn't sure if I would like it, but I do like them. 
I do like it and I think I would buy the bottle um, next time. And then here is Howard's and he is going to dress his when he gets to the table. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight we are having Asian food. So I made some fried rice and this is a seasoning mix that I used and I've talked about it several times on our What's For Dinner videos. Basically, I followed the instructions on the back of the packet, but I did add some shrimp, as you can see, and also made some stir-fried broccoli with some fresh broccoli, and this is the seasoning that I used on that. I told you guys I have a, that is Harrison in the background, he's eating dinner, that I have a bunch of seasonings in my spice cabinet that I need to use, and so this is what I used. I um, just sauteed the broccoli in olive oil and then sprinkled that on and added some sesame oil as well. In my freezer, I had some shumai that I've been needing to use up for a while. It's from Trader Joe's, and this is what that box looks like. You get, um, you're supposed to get 10. I got nine in the package, and I just pan fried them. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are eating from our freezer. So a while back ago, actually pretty recently, I found these uh, smoked sausages at Kroger. They were on sale, so they were $4.99, originally $6.99. Wanted to give them a try. They are Cajun style, fully cooked smoked sausage and Howard grilled them today. So here is his, he put some ketchup on it and he is having some spicy Doritos. And then here is mine. I cut it open so you guys could see the inside. We did try it and both of us said it was okay, nothing special. So I really like hot links to me. These are not um, similar in flavor to a hot link. They're spicy, but they're also very salty. And whereas I think that's Harrison eating his dinner. And whereas I think hot links have a bit more flavor, these don't, they're just hot to me. So I am eating Golden Flake um, cheese puffs with mine. And this is what it looks like. I really like these a lot. And then here are Howard's spicy Doritos right here. And then I wanted to show this to you guys. I got these a while back ago from Walmart. And if you've watched our hauls before, I have gotten these um, similar um, sparkling strawberry juice beverages from Trader Joe's. They come in a four pack and so do these. Um, and I think they're the same price as the one at Trader Joe's. However, they do not taste the same to me. Um, they are not as strong in flavor as the Trader Joe's um, version. So I did wanna show you guys this, just in case you weren't aware that they had them at Walmart. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time.